okay so in this video we are going to install our fresh installation of laravel and then we are going to publish our lang directory so let's get started so basically this one is a step by step guide so i haven't uh, uh, skip this I am on the thank you page. So now I'm starting it from the thank you page Okay, uh, so here I'm in the www directory where I'm loading it using the uh, Laragon right if you are using XAMPP so you can place this into the IT docs folder or you can place it anywhere so you can run this using PHP artisan serve and if you want to uh, learn about XAMPP or Laragon I have uh, a full courses on on these two ones on ZAMP and Laragon 2 so you can follow them and do set up your development uh, environment into your windows or into the any other uh, machine using the ZAMP because Laragon is for only windows okay so here I'm going to create my first application using the composer not the first one it's a fresh application okay uh, so here the command is composer create projects uh, composer create project okay like this project not the yeah. laravel slash laravel and then here i'm going to specify my application name so i'm going to name this translations translation app right hit enter so it will create the translation app in the laravel 10 which is the latest version right and if newer version came so i will upgrade this full series right not the series but at the end of the output for example if we build an application which is uh, uh, in the laravel 10 and laravel 11 came so i will also show you that what are the new things which you need to add into the laravel 10 and i will also upgrade this from 10 to 11 or 12 and something like this so now this one is downloading the uh, downloading our uh, application and i'm going to now uh, open this application if i go here and view this translation this one is our translation app i want to now open into my vs code because i will use this vs code and it's much easier and if you want to make your editor more intelligent you can use this vs code extensions and i have also full course on it how you can install the extensions in the vs code to make your vs code more intelligent it will suggest you many things how you can add the namespace at the top how you can go into the any of the files how you can uh, basically change the sidebar icons color and many more things so what's the uh, what is the exact series i'm going to show you here the exact one so this one would be the laravel and my connection internet connection is little bit slow that's why it's taking time to do this okay in meanwhile time i'm going to no, wait not i'm going to do anything else so here vs code where it is just search this i think it's there but i'm able to find this vs code yes set up vs code for laravel you can watch this series it's contain fewer minutes videos where i am i'm installing those so, um, i'm installing those extensions and it will help you to make your code more uh, make, make your vs code more intelligent okay and here i'm going to now open this into my vs code so just to, if you are in the window so just to mark this here and then type cmd and open the cmd like this so i'm going to open my code so the command is code space dot hit enter so this will open your code in the vs code i think also it's work for the sublime and uh, for the php storm too if you know about this or you have experience so you can mention this in the comment below okay our application is opened here i'm going to now close this one and checking that our application is yes it's almost completed and here i'm going to create the database uh, here right in my laragon so let's wait for a moment to generate the files and then i'm going to uh, open my create my database connection so let me add it here i will create the translation app right so always 
try to mention this same name here uh, which your replication name and then database 2 why because it will help you in future to easily remember that what is the application and what's the database you have locally and yes it's completed so i'm going to exit this out and now i'm going to turn on this laragon so what will what it will uh, uh, do for me basically it's going to create a subdomain for me yes i'm allowing this so now this will create subdomain for me where i can open my application not choosing the php rt sensor i'm going to use this uh, translate translation translation app dot test so it's created domain for me and yes i'm able to open this application here using this so uh, a uh, virtual domain okay it's open now and i'm going to open the local host php my admin to create the database i'm using i will use this mysql to create the database and mysql is widely used in the laravel projects so here you can mention your name i'm going to paste this translation app okay this one is created here and our application is there and i'm going here and closing this env file and here i'm going to now open my terminal and in the terminal i'm going to basically uh, publish my lang file so by default there is no lang directory in the laravel 10 right in the if you are in the previous version like laravel 9 8 so it's exist right and here and in the previous version it's also in the resources directory but in the laravel 10 it's not visible it's uh, it isn't published so what's the command to publish this this command is php artisan lang publish php artisan lang publish and hit enter and yes this one is published and where it's published it's published here directly in this lang in this main root directory right this contain an en file which have these four types of file for the authentications it's have failed and then failed have this value then it's have pagination then password then validations and so on things right so it's contain four types of files so you can create the directory of your language and then you can place your files even they are json or php file so for now this one is we are our topic is completed uh, our this video topic is completed uh, we created our application we created the lang directory right and in the next video i'm going to uh, add a new language here right so thank you so much for watching the video and i will meet you in the next one bye bye